In this video, we're going to show you how to integrate an existing roll bar project with Bitbucket issues. But before we begin, let's make sure we touch on a few assumptions. Number one, we're assuming you have an existing roll bar project that has been created and that has actually received errors. And secondly, that you have an existing Bitbucket account that's been integrated with Rollbar. And if you haven't integrated that account with Rollbar, don't worry because we're going to cover that in this demonstration as well. So let's jump over to the product. And as you can see here, we've created a Rollbar project that has actually received some very recent errors here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to integrate this project with Bitbucket issues. So we're going to go ahead and select settings. And now here, I'm going to go ahead and type in the name of my project that we're going to filter on. And under integrations here, we're going to go ahead and click on notifications. And then we're going to go ahead and select Bitbucket issues. And as you can see here, my account is actually not created, not integrated with Bitbucket, my Rollbar account. So we're going to go ahead and connect those two here. And we can see we're going to be asked to enter our Bitbucket repository. So we're going to do that. Now we're going to pick our repository. We're going to click Enable. OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on uh, Send Test Notification. So if we come over here to Bitbucket, to our issues, we can see here that we just generated uh, a new test notification from Rollbar. So this is a great indication that the integration is actually working. So if we come over here, these are our default out-of-the-box rules. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and click on and edit one of these particular rules. So in this example, any error that is of level error or greater is going to, that it's reactivated, we're going to reopen a Bitbucket issue. But I can filter these rules and I can edit them and get as granular as I want. Maybe I'm only interested in the environment production. And maybe I'm only interested in a certain title. Maybe I want to add a context or a framework. So I can get as granular as I want so that I'm only going to be creating items in Bitbucket that are really important to me based on my configuration. And this is the case with all of our out-of-the-box integrations with Rollbar. These rules are exactly the same. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. And we can see that these are our different rules that we have set up. Um, we're going to do one for new item as well, and I'm just going to say anything greater than or equal to info. We're going to click create rule. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back here and click on items. And as you can see here, we're going to click on a particular exception. And now if you notice, it says create bit bucket issue. If we didn't have the integration set up, we wouldn't even see this. So this, this is great. So now we're going to go ahead and let's say we're going to create a bit bucket issue. Okay. And now what I can do is I can view my Bitbucket issue right here. So you might ask, well, why would I want to integrate Rollbar with Bitbucket issues? Well, if you're using Bitbucket for your source control and you're using Bitbucket issues to manage um, errors and defects, you can actually use the Rollbar integration so that you can easily and seamlessly manage Bitbucket issues through the Rollbar GUI without having to context switch and log into Bitbucket and copy Rollbar data into Bitbucket or vice versa. So as we can see here, we can resolve the issue. If we go back here and we can do a refresh. We can see that we've actually updated the Bitbucket issue right here from Rollbar. I can also uh, link to a different Bitbucket issue or unlink from this Bitbucket issue. So it just makes the workflow much easier and more seamless and easier with this integration. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Feel free to go out to our website for more information. Thank you.